everybody, this is Richard from Spirits of Japan. Uh, welcome back to our, I think, fifth segment. I'm not too sure. Uh, we are on um, Emperors of Japan, Imperial Lineage. And uh, right now we're on our 11th Emperor. Um, we talked about Sui Jing, which uh, was a turning point in the Emperor, uh, the way the Emperors kind of governed. And then now we're on to Emperor Sui Jing, which uh, he was uh, Emperor from 29 B.C. to 70 A.D., became emperor when he was 40, died at the age of 138. He, um, character, man, he's, uh, uh his, his son's going to be more, more of a, a character, but uh, you can really see, um, let me see here. He was married to two women. Uh, the first was, um, a lady named Saho Hime. And uh, they had one child, um, I believe. Let me look. Yeah. Um, and it was a, a young boy. Then he got married again. And um, he had, uh, uh, her name was Hibasu, Hibasu Hime. And under her, he had um, uh, six five five children so there was uh three th three boys and two girls um what was uh interesting about this is the uh, uh yamato hime was uh the the uh second daughter born she was the one that is going to end up being the um um i guess what we would call them in J in japanese is is uh a, a sayo i think um she was one of the first um, to take um, the regalia of Japan, uh, specifically the mirror of Amaterasu, of the three regalia. Remember we talked about a sword, um, a, a copper mirror, and a jewel. These are the three regalia of Japan that were handed down by the gods for them to care. And whoever possesses all three of them is the most powerful person in Japan. No, she was the uh, first to to uh, well not the first. Sui Jin's daughter was kind of uh, given the job to kind of find uh, a safe haven for these places, and Yamato Himi took it over, and she is the one who eventually made it to um, to uh, Issei Jingu, uh, which is the most sacred shrine of the eighty-eight thousand shrines in Japan, located uh, about two and a half hours east of Osaka here. Uh, so she's the one who established the inner shrine um, uh, 2,000 years ago. And, uh, I mean, she searched for 20 years. She was out there, uh, must have started in her 20s, ended up, uh, you know, uh, you know uh, uh, becoming the first high priestess. And to this day, uh, Issei Shrine is still governed um, by a priestess. All right. So, um, you know, all the other shrines are, are I think, guys, but uh, her, she's a priestess um, that are still uh, at Issei Grand Shrine. And in order to be a, become an attendant to uh, one of those priestess, which is usually a princess in the royal family, um, the starting point for that would be Nonomiya Shrine here in Kyoto. Um, so that's another uh, whole different discussion. Um, but Suinin, <clears throat> he was pretty much... Uh, uh, known for his daughter doing that, he was also uh, um, responsible for. Um, um, oh God, I'm lost. There's so much. He's he had. Um, he uh, there was a a, a a volcano ceremony. That he started at the base of Mount Fuji, and uh, it still goes on today. I think he started that in his third reign, and then there was this other event that happened. That there was this one guy uh, that uh, claimed to be the most powerful person under the heavens, and so um, Emperor uh, Suinin really didn't like this guy going around boasting about it. So he asked another guy, God Nomi no Sukune, to go have a match with this guy. Um, and take care of this issue because I, I guess this other guy was really, really arrogant. <clears throat> and this is uh, where the basis of sumo began. I guess um, this no me no sukune ended up, um, and we don't do it in sumo now, is uh, kicking this guy in the ribs and breaking his ribs. And when um, he get up to turn around 
Uh, when he fell, he was getting up, and the guy kicks him again and breaks his back, killing him. So, uh, you know, that's kind of known to be the, the first sumo match. Um, actually, the new Olympic Stadium that's being built is going to have um, um, a portrait um, or an illustration of this uh, guy called Nomi no Sukune. Anywho, let's get back to <clears throat> Emperor Suinen. Uisen, <clears throat> Suinen, <clears throat> excuse me, he um, had... His, with his second wife, he had five children, all right? And the second son, there were three sons and two daughters. The second son would end up being um, Keiko, uh, Emperor Keiko, who became emperor in the uh, 71 AD. Um, Suining also had seven, seven consorts. This guy, uh, this is what I was getting to. His second wife, Hibasu, okay, her dad, evidently they had three more daughters. So I don't know if there were any sons in that. But those three daughters also became um, Suinin's consorts. And he had uh, two boy, a uh, boy and a girl by one. He didn't have any by the second one and the third one, uh, uh, two boys and a girl. So between the three, he had five more children, five with the wife, okay, then he had another uh, Kaguya Hime. Um, um, she she ended up becoming a um, uh, uh, a character in a in a love story later on. Uh, then he had two more, and if you hear Frozen, that's my four year old daughter listening to that just for the one thousandth time. Um, had two more, um, and they were sisters. And then there was an un unknown one. The two the two sisters had um, a prince and a princess, and then a, then three boys. And then the unknown um, consort had a young boy. So in all, this guy had seventeen kids. Um, and uh, there may have been more, depending on what you read, um, but not designated as a prince or a pr princess. So seventeen kids. Um, so what stemmed from that is, uh, uh Emperor Kaika, uh, off his second wife, uh, second son, third son, uh, and all, uh, Yamato Hime and the story of Issei Jingu, um, Kaguya Hime, one of his consorts who becomes a character in this, uh, important love story that's, uh, famous throughout Japan and, uh, sumo wrestling. Um, so a lot went back on between 71 AD and 130 AD uh, with this particular guy. Now, his son, uh, Emperor Kaika, uh, going to blow you away with him. So that's that's uh, uh, next segment. And uh, Don, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that in eight minutes because this guy had uh, uh, 51 kids. Um, yeah, well, that they know of. They think he had about 80. But uh, that's again for an, the next segment. So uh, that is Emperor Suinin, <laughs> the 11th Emperor of Japan from 29 BC to 70 AD. All right.